so now in this surface we will see some analysis so for that I suppose to click the surface first and then right click and you have surface properties so once you click that you will be available with this window here we can able to choose whatever we want and here there is something called definition and also analysis so in analysis only we are going to have multiple analysis like contour or based on elevation or based on slopes or based on uh, watersheds everything now i am just going to start with the contour first so by default it is having ranges only one so if you want you can able to put more ranges for example 10 and then you can just uh, put this to down then you will be having different uh, set of uh, ranges see for example 87 to 91 and 91 to 92 like that so up to 102.5 so it is having various colors so major contour minor contour and everything so once i'm clicking apply and then ok so we are not getting the display right so for that you should uh, select the surface and then right click there you will be having edit surface style so in edit surface style you also have display tab in display tab you can able to switch on the contours if you want like uh, here already like major contour minor contour and everything is switched on and we also have user contour that we will see later now everything is ok right now I am just going to click ok so here we also have contour so this is having only one so I am just going to put the number of ranges as 10 then the colors here we will be getting now I am just going for apply and then ok so here also you can just go for surface property and here I am just go going only for contour and apply and then ok now this is what our contours looks like So in this we can just go for contour ranges, I am just going for 10, ok. So in display I am just going to switch on user contours also and then apply and then ok. Now we can just go for add legend. In this add legend I am just going for contour first and we have dynamic and static so I am just going to put dynamic one so here we have the table contour table now I am just going for add legend contours and also static now dynamic means it will get updated by itself static means it won't get updated we will see the difference now so here you are just going for surface property and again I am just going for analysis and then for contour now I am just going to put 5 and I am just going to put here down so we have 5 a set of contours and I am just going for apply and then ok okay now it get updated see here dynamic it will change automatically static it won't change that is the difference between dynamic and also static so this is only for contour now we will go for direction so direction by default it is having eight numbers I am just going to put as it is 
and we will be getting this kind of colors and it is showing minimum direction and maximum direction and I'm just going for apply and then OK. So once you applied and OK, it won't uh, visible here. For that, you should go for edit surface style and here display you have. There you can just go for direction. You can switch on it. So it's similar to layers and you can just apply and click OK. Now we can able to see the different colors for different directions. And for this also, you can just go for legend. So click the surface and then uh, you will be available with the surface uh, tools uh, in this platform like uh, on top of the window. So where you can just go for add legend and here I'm just going for direction and then dynamic. So dynamic is better now it will get updated by itself. See where you, you will be available with direction table. So now I'm just going for a surface property again. So here I am also having elevations. So based on the elevations, we will be getting some colors and uh, some ranges. So number of ranges or range interval, range interval with the datum, everything you can able to use. By, uh, by default, it is having number of ranges and it is having eight. I'm just going to put uh, down and it is what the colors we have and then apply and then OK. Now it won't display. So as usual, edit surface style and display and then it is like a elevation. So you should just switch off a direction and then switch on elevation. See now we can able to see the various uh, elevation. If you want legend, you can just click and then go for legend. And then I'm just going for elevation legend. So dynamic. And I am just inputting those table here. So like this, you can able to go for analysis and you can able to keep the tables uh, in your drawing. So now again, we will see like surface property. And here we have analysis and we also have slopes. So slopes, so you can able to select from here the legend and also the number and you can just put it and we can see the color. So it is in a, a red color. You can able to change the color also if you want. See once you click that you can able to change actually. By default I am just taking. So customizations is always possible with this kind of software. And I am just going for apply and then OK. So as usual the display won't uh, show us. So we should go back to the surface style and then here we should switch off the elevation and we should switch on the slopes. So whatever you want, you can just switch on. And then if you want legend, click the surface and then go for legend and then choose the particular legend. So now we did the slopes, right? So slope dynamic and then inputting here. See, so based on the colors, we can able to see the slopes. So in our surface. Now again, I'm just going for surface properties. And here I'm just going for slope arrows. So default ranges we can just input. So here we have multiple colors. For arrows it is and I'm just going for apply and then click OK. Now I'm just going for surface style and I'm just going to put a slope arrow on and then slope switch off and then apply and then OK. It was so colorful and it will show you the different arrows and where the slope is. See in this particular area we have this kind of slope going down only and somewhere it is going up also. So the slopes of the particular area we can able to study. And the same if you want legend. So just to select and then add legend. And then there you can just go for slope arrow and then dynamic is better. If you want static you can go for and I'm just clicking here. So this is what the slope arrow table and based on the color we can able to study the slopes.
so minimum and maximum slopes like that even you can able to change the ranges as well So now again, I'm just going for surface properties and here I am having like a user defined contours. So this user defined contours, I can just go for uh, 10 and then I'm just going to put down. There you can able to select multiple colors. So, okay, now I'm just going to input apply and then uh, ok already user contour switched on right so that's why here it is like visible so otherwise you can just uh, select it and then go for a surface style now here we can just go for only the user contour and then major minor and everything if you don't want then you can remove it just apply and then ok now this is what the user contour looks like so i am just going for add legend and then i am just going for user contour and then dynamic now this is what the user contour so it is having different elevations contour 1 contour 2 like that So if you want to edit something you can just go for surface style and here in analysis we can just go for editing all those like elevation slopes slopes arrows everything if you want to make change something you can change and contours uh, contours i'm just going for contour intervals so and then contour depressions contour smoothing So here I'm just going to put a minor interval as 1 and then major interval as a, uh, you can input na, like accordingly so you will get the outputs. For example I'm just going to put a 2 here and then we will see how it is. Apply. That is like a contour interval. And then the contour ranges I'm just going for 5. So if you want to see that you can just go back to the uh, 1 and 5 meter right so edit surface style and uh, here you can just go for display and then you can just go for major minor apply So here you can just go for contour ranges by equal interval or one tail or standard deviation like that. I'm just going for equal interval and I'm just going for a some 10 and apply and then OK. Now I'm just going for again surface property and where we can just go for watersheds. In watershed, I am just going to put uh, some values over here. So I am just going to put 10 and then I am just going to put uh, otherwise I can just go for 5 and input those value and it will give you some ranges and apply and then OK. Now I am just going for a uh, display. So in display, I am just going for watersheds and then apply and ok see now we can able to see like lots of watersheds everywhere in our surface like blue color red colors and also it is showing some uh, area so if you want this uh, watershed report you can just select again go for legend and then here watershed 
so dynamic is better as usual and you can just click somewhere now this is what like a watershed report or watershed table where you can able to go for area display everything okay so the colors of that also it is showing here we can able to see the same in our drawing also for example here we can able to see like uh, 93 and we have area of uh, this much everything like that